This week, we take you to Chapman University in Orange, California for the annual Seek Lens Festival. We have red carpet interviews, amazing shorts, and some great and panels. We need to go out and touch everybody in America with the Sikh identity. Festival director, Vicky Singh, says collaborating with Chapman has been great. And I am happy to report we are the only Sikh organization around the world which is embedded into a film school and uh, there is no other such program like this. And so we started first year when we came, three years back, we ran our film festival. Then we started discovering what these guys are. Then last year we had two scholarship films and this year we have eight scholarship films. So we have started engaging with the film school deeper and wider. Well, we're part of Doorway to India, of which Vicky Singh, of course, is the founder and this Sikh Lens Festival is part of Doorway to India and the Doorway to India project includes documentary films being shot through scholarship and this year for the first time we're taking a group of Chapman students to Hyderabad, India to shoot narrative film. This year it was a short that caught everyone's fancy, Sikh Formaggio. Um, so this summer we uh, flew to northern Italy and made a documentary about Italian Sikhs and how they're contributing and saving the Italian cheese industry. Um, so we you know, highlighted how they're participating in that industry and also delving into more of the issue of identity and preserving your culture while in a completely different country. Um, so yeah, it was great. Chapman students are saying they are excited to learn about the Sikh culture and tell these untold stories. It was actually sort of a last minute film. They had all the Italian film and everything set up and last minute we heard about this little boy Raj who won this giant national science competition and whatnot. And the Sikhs definitely wanted that to be made and so me and my partner had, uh, we went out and filmed Raj. We used lots of footage that they'd already gotten but we went and filmed him in class and went to his home and yeah, really just got to know the family and turned into a nice little documentary. I wanted to enter the science competition because I wanted to see what my abilities were, how far I could go with it. With the hard work and diligence, he realizes that they can do anything. You would say a lot. I would like to introduce you the new national winner. We caught up with the director and lead actor for the film The Gold Bracelet on the red carpet. The film about a Sikh family with a backdrop of 9-11. Um, it's a poignant tale of a, of a family that struggles to exist in the midst of a, a daughter's wedding and the events of 9-11 happen and how that affects their lives. That's what the film's about. This will change things forever. All of America mourns. How can we celebrate? The country's not going to come to a standstill because of this. The country is far greater than this. Well, you know, I personally went through that internal struggle, actually, uh, growing up. It was the same type of a situation where I was always the, uh, the kid in school who had long hair, who had the juda, the patka, and, you know, these kids had never seen that before. And it was difficult, very, very difficult. And uh, I always wanted to cut my hair, and uh, so I eventually just did it. <laughs> you don't need someone to tell you who you are and where you belong. You belong because you believe in the truth. We've saved the best for last. Fawaja Singh, 101 years old, still running marathons. Running keeps him healthy. And when he gets tired, when he gets tired, he just relies on God to help. So he's used the phrase, you know, talking to God while running. He says the first 20 miles you can manage. The last six miles he talks to God. I just feel privileged, and it's, uh, it's an honor. Some it's Chapman honor students were so impressed if by his story, they, they decided to make a film about so him. I was sleeping, and I woke up to a call from Liz 
screaming. And immediately I sat up because I knew it. And I was like, holy crud. And I literally was like shaking because I have never wanted to film so much in my life because we met Faja, we ran with him, we fell in love with him. And I'd already fallen in love with our subject. And for me, that's the most amazing part of every movie that, that I do is the subject. And so it was definitely the most exciting scholarship I've ever gotten. And one of the most memorable moments of my college career was that night. So. ਬਹੁਤ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਬੜਾ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਬੀਰਾਮੀ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਔਖਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕੱਲ ਅਸੀਂ 1 ਵਜੇ ਗਏ 2 ਵਜੇ ਸੁੱਤੇ ਤੜ ਕੇ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਫੇ ਪਾਰਕ ਚ ਗਏ ਫੇ ਆ ਗਏ ਆ ਨਾ ਨੂੰ ਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਜਿਸ ਬੰਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਚ ਨਾ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਮਾੜੀ ਪੱਲੀ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਤਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਵੀ ਮੰਨੇ ਦੀ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਬੜਾ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹਾਂ ਦੇਖੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੇ ਬੜੀ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਗਾਇਆ ਸੱਦਿਆ ਐਨਾ ਮੁਲਕ ਸੱਦਿਆ ਆ ਫੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਖੁਸ਼ ਨਾ ਰਹੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਫੇ ਸੱਦਣੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਵੀ ਤਾਂ ਆਉਣੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਖੁਸ਼ ਬੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਸੈਡ ਹੀ ਹੀਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਹੈਪੀ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਵਾ ਹੀ ਹੀਜ਼ ਹੇਅਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਟ ਦਿਸ ਫਿਲਮ ਫੈਸਟੀਵਲ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਨੋਸ ਹੀ ਯੂ نو ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦਾ ਫਿਲਮ ਚੂ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਹੀ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਹੂ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜ਼ ਥੀਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਸੋ ਹੈਪੀ ਸੋ ਈਵਨ ਹੀ ਹੈਸ ਟੂ ਸਟੇ ਲੇਟ ਲਾਸਟ ਨਾਈਟ ਹੀ ਕੇਮ ਅਪ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਨ ਅ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਟਾਈਮ ਚੂ ਸੋ ਬਟ ਹੀ he really happy because people like him and uh, you know meet with him and that's the how he don't feel any tiredness anything else like that that's <laughs> 101 years old but still 25 at heart i guess we could all learn something from him <laughs>